Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests and intrepid adventurers, gather round for another riveting episode of Quirky Chronicles. Today, I beckon you to travel back in time to an era when cigarettes weren't mere rolls of tobacco wrapped in paper. They were hailed as elixirs capable of curing the very ailments that dared plague humanity. And if that weren't enough, brace yourselves for a plot twist of Shakespearean proportions, where our dear doctors found themselves in a farcical act they had not quite rehearsed for. Imagine, if you will, a period when scientific understanding was akin to deciphering the riddles of a cryptic sage. You see, during the mid-twentieth century, the health hazards of smoking were still clipped in enigma. And like deft illusionists, the tobacco companies seized upon this perplexity to weave a spellbinding tale. Cigarettes transformed from ordinary puffs of smoke to ethereal panaceas, capable of dispelling troubles with a single exhale. In this curious part of history, picture posters and magazine spreads audaciously exclaimed, Stay slender, smoke our cigarettes, or for better health, smoke our brand. It's as though the tobacco tycoons had channeled the spirit of Merlin, believing that a puff of smoke could transport one to a realm devoid of worries. One might have half expected them to declare that cigarettes held the power to unscramble perplexing crosswords or conjure forth forgotten keys, and people were willingly buying into it. But, dear friends, the plot, as they say, thickens. Behold the entrance of our unwitting jesters, the esteemed doctors, those guardians of health, inadvertently stepping into roles that could rival the mirthful interludes of the finest comedies. Even dentists were in on it. Picture, if you will, a doctor, stethoscope, draped with a theatrical flourish, declaiming, for a healthier you, make smoking your daily ritual. Were they participants in this theatrical charade, or merely collateral damage to a tale far more perplexing than their medical textbooks? These doctor-endorsed pronouncements weren't merely fleeting whispers. They bedecked billboards and graced glossy pages, etching themselves into the collective psyche. One can't help but ponder whether these well-meaning physicians understood they were actors in a grand performance that stretched the boundaries of reason. Some of them were in fact actors, but actual doctors were paid by tobacco companies to endorse their products. Could they have fathomed that smoking, far from a remedy, was sowing the seeds of a health-related conundrum for generations to unravel? Yet, dear audience, brace yourselves for the grand spectacle isn't over yet. Enter light and low-tar cigarettes striding onto the stage with the gravitas of protagonists in an epic Greek tragedy. They arrived promising respite for beleaguered lungs, extolling the virtues of breezier breaths and healthier indulgences. But what lay beneath this virtuous veneer was a narrative worthy of Shakespeare's most convoluted tales. Here, friends, the tale twists intriguingly. These purported lung liberators embarked upon a paradoxical dance. As science probed deeper, it unveiled a curious phenomenon. These light cigarettes often led to deeper inhalations and more frequent drags. It was almost as though the cigarettes themselves were whispering to smokers, Inhale, my compatriot, as if embracing the anticipation of unwrapping a gift from the universe. Might be socks, might be a spaceship. And as our tale surged towards its crescendo, in 1964, a revelation unfurled. No, not from the quill of a playwright, but from the hallowed U.S. Surgeon General. A report that dealt a seismic blow to the very foundation of our smoky saga, concretely linking smoking to lung cancer and a litany of grave afflictions. Suddenly, the players in our narrative seemed to realize that they were participants in a tragedy, not a comedy. The grand illusion shattered, leaving behind a world grappling with the stark reality that their once beloved smoky companions were, in fact, agents of harm. The same physicians who sung praises to these tobacco treasures found themselves in a plot twist they could scarcely have imagined. But what are the smokers, those who unwittingly waltzed in the clouds of deception, these curious souls who drew solace from the tendrils of smoke and believed themselves guardians of their own comfort must have felt like extras in a farcical play. 
mid-20th century NPCs, if you will. Did they smirk at the irony that their once treasured companions turned out to be the jesters of their own health? Did they sigh at the plot twists life conjured, realizing that even their daily routines were orchestrated by an unseen playwright with a penchant for absurdity? As news of smoking's adverse effects spread, the general public reaction swung between disbelief and introspection. Some may have clung to denial, refusing to sever their ties with their beloved cigarettes. Others, confronted with the unsettling truth, experienced a sense of betrayal and bewilderment. The very habit they'd embraced, often under the guise of a healthier life, now stood unmasked as a conduit to sickness and suffering. Yet, within the tangle of emotions and revelations, a thread of resilience emerged. As the truth took center stage, countless individuals embarked on journeys of quitting, a quest to rewrite their narratives and escape the clutches of deception. The collective consciousness underwent a shift as skepticism settled into the heart of public discourse. The tale of cigarettes as health elixirs served as a cautionary tale, a reminder that even in an age of advancement, humanity remains susceptible to the dance of delusion. And yet, even as the curtains drew to a close on this particular act, one can't help but wonder if echoes of such curious tales still linger in the corridors of modernity. Recent times have brought forth their own melodramas, where new elixirs were heralded as the answer to our tribulations, only to reveal themselves as a complex dance between hope and caution. The quirks of history, it seems, are not confined to the past alone. As we bid adieu to this chapter of Quirky Chronicles, my dear viewers, remember to wield your curiosity as a lantern and your skepticism as a compass. And before you go off on your next adventure, why not indulge us and hit that like button? Consider subscribing if you'd like more mind-bending tales from the annals of history. And don't forget to ring the bell. After all, in a world where even cigarettes danced as health elixirs, who knows what tales are waiting to be uncovered. Until next time, keep your wits sharp and your mind even sharper. Cheerio!